Spectacular seasons, that's what the Augusta players have achieved. They're one of the largest theater companies in the Southeast committed to producing big Broadway-style musicals, and this next musical to kick off the Augusta players' 80th season could just be the biggest one yet. The Augusta players begin their 80th season at the beginning of October with one of the most popular musicals of all time, Jesus Christ Superstore. Players executive director and show co-director and conductor Scott Seidel joins us now with all the info about Jesus Christ Superstore. Scott? Good to see you again. You too. Good morning. Hi. It's great to meet you, Taylor. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Uh, before we get to about this amazing show, uh, give us a little history about the Augusta Players. 80 seasons. Oh, my gosh. That's uh, a lot to cover. Yes. started. It's a lot to cover. We're, uh, you have to come to the show, get the program, and there's a history there, so you get all the details. But it uh, started in 1945 in Augusta, and we have been producing consecutively every year through world wars and uh, pandemics and everything. Every single year for 80 years, we've been producing shows. And the the company has grown so much, uh, especially in the past seven, eight, nine, ten years as well, in terms of our programming, because it's so much more than just the shows at the Imperial Theater. Our junior players, our outreach program, Camp Wonderland, a brand new program called Enchanted Stages. We have a new program for senior citizens. It's it's really a behemoth of an organization run by a very small group of people with an exciting future ahead of us. You're covering the full gamut. Yeah, we're trying. Yeah. And I like how you mentioned, you know, with World Wars, the COVID-19 pandemic, you know, the times when people really need art. You right. know what I'm saying? Agreed. Um, and this year you premiered the 80th season of The Players with Jesus Christ Superstar. It's this one, one of the most ambitious performances the players have ever attempted? I think it's one of the most ambitious performances, period, uh, in, in most theaters across this country. Yeah, it's a, a, an onstage orchestra of 43. So we have this incredible rock band with a full symphony orchestra behind it. Then we've got a 20 20-member adult choir, a 20-member children's choir, a cast of 33, because there's so much happening on stage, we're putting our scenery in the theater itself. So the walls and ceiling of the theater will be filled with video content. The audience will be completely wrapped in uh, in scenic and video content and, and moments that uh, support the story that's going on. It's massive. It's a fully immersive experience that you're going to be able to check this out in early October. Now, in addition to this massive cast and crew, you're even taking a couple of roles in this show, so to speak. Uh, this has kind of been a personal connection for you, correct? It, it is, yeah. I've wanted to, so I was a high school teacher uh, the first part of my adult life in the in the uh, late 70s and early 80s, and I've always wanted to do the show, and it never worked out at the school. I was able to play it as a drummer a couple of times, because that's how I started in this industry as a musician, and uh, I've always wanted to put this show on stage. I never thought that I would get the chance to do it quite like we're doing it now here in Augusta, but it's been a long journey for me, and we've been working on the show, the creative team's been working working on the show f for a little over a year now. Right. So uh, it, it takes a lot of uh, runway to get this thing up on its feet. All right, so I'm sure people are sitting on the edge of their seat now <laughs> wondering when they can go check this out. So let's go over the dates and times for the uh, performances. Absolutely. So public performances are October 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's a Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. and a Sunday at 3 p.m. Uh, the weekend before that, our junior players uh, have their first show, Children of Eden, uh, written by Stephen Schwartz. And a week and a half after that, our art reach is doing Peter Rabbit and Friends on the 15th, 16th, and 17th with a public show on the 15th. We've got a lot going on to oh, kick yeah. off the season. But you can get information on all of that at our website. AugustaPlayers.org. Uh, now, we've mentioned this before about the quality and the quantity of talent that we have in this area and with the players. So what are you looking for if somebody in someone, if someone wants to participate with the players? Well, I, I want to go back to that, that thought about the amazing talent because I'm sitting here with some of it right now um, because, in case you don't know, Cliff is in the show, and I'm excited to get to work with him and, and his amazing talent. Uh, what we're looking for is people that are passionate about participating and being part of this uh, theater family, I, really, and that's it. Like, there's opportunities for everybody to be involved. We're fortunate that this city per capita has more talent than any place I've seen in the 50 states, and I've been to 49 of them. Um, but uh, it's just really folks that want to be a part of it. We'll find some place for you to be involved. And so let's talk about what's also coming ahead with the season, um, season number 80. Season 80. So we open, uh, as we're talking about, with Jesus Christ Superstar, and then Annie gets a home for Christmas. We're doing the, the favorite musical, Annie, based on the comic strip uh, in December. And then in February, uh, a funky new production of Wizard of Oz that uh, I'll be back in the director's seat for that. Christina DiCarlo, our associates, directing Annie. And then we close the season with Anastasia, uh, and that's on Mother's Day weekend. 
in May. So it's a great solid season, but the junior players have a full season. Art Reach has a full season. Reader's Theater has a full season. So there's pretty much every other weekend you can see an Augusta player show somewhere. It's not an empty day no, any, any time during the season as well. Uh, let's go over again and show the uh, information about the dates and the times here for Jesus Christ Superstar. We'll go over that again. It's going to be October 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's correct. First weekend in October. Okay, check that out. 8 p.m. for 4th and the 5th, 3 p.m. matinee show on the 6th at the Imperial Theater. Get your information at AugustaPlayers.org. We'll see you out there. Scott, it's good to see you. Yeah, Thanks you for guys as well.